Welcome back to my channel, it's Emily Lucy Ratch. Today we are going to Greece. This trip starts off pretty tame and it gets progressively wilder as time goes on. It is a vlog, but it's also really helpful. Tips if you are going on Virgin Voyages or thinking of booking. So into Athens early that morning and my first tip is book a transfer. We arrived and didn't have a transfer. The taxi queue was huge. The stress that I was feeling that I wasn't gonna get there in time or get there at all. So highly recommend booking a transfer. We checked in, got into our room and one thing I didn't think to do was bring any swimwear in my hand luggage because you give all of your suitcases and then you have nothing until the suitcases are delivered. We were walking around baking in our UK travel outfit. The queue at this point was huge, so we got there at the right time. And of course, the first thing to do is eat. And there is so much to eat on this ship. I think I had the mozzarella cheese toasty every single day, sushi every day, salad bar every day. This is what is so good about this ship. So much variety and as much as you want to eat. Then after a quick lunch, we went to explore the rest of the Valiant Lady and it is just beautiful. There are so many parts to this ship that are tucked away, little secret gems, it's really worth exploring. If you're part of the Rockstar package, you get to use Richard's rooftop, where they have a happy hour every day from 5 till 6 p.m. Cocktails, glasses of moe, it's just such a lovely way to sail away on your first day. We've just showered, unpacked, and just ordered room service. We got up at 1.30 a.m. It's now 9pm. I don't think we've been this tired in a long time. Choppy tonight, but you can definitely feel a slight movement. But I always think it feels like this on the first night. You're a bit like, oh, I'm rocking a little bit. I'm moving. And then you just get used to it and you forget that it's even happening. Well, we wait for room service to arrive. I'm going to pick a film for me and Anthony to watch. Because Virgin, because Sky TV, but Virgin, don't they, at home? There's just so many amazing films that are on here before they're out at home. So we're gonna have movie night tonight. I'm actually really excited. I'd actually factored this in because I remember last time we came, we went out for dinner. We went to the Italian restaurant um, at like 7 p.m. And we were both like sat there looking at each other like, I'm too tired to be here. Whereas just have a night to just recoup before the adventure begins after you've got up at 1am. Smart and room service is so good. I actually saw a tip on someone else's YouTube video that I've just done. And if you order room service without buying any alcoholic drinks or teas, which cost, it actually costs just a £10 service charge. But I've ordered a sugar-free Red Bull for when we go to the gym tomorrow. And it's cost six euros and there's been no charge for room service delivery, so great tip from YouTube. Everything is controlled from this iPad. Yeah. It's a morning wake up. I'm up at 7am. Well, it's actually 6 30. Meditation starts at 7 and then yoga starts at half 7. All of the classes and gym facilities are included in the package. They do get really booked up, so as soon as you board, use the app to book. I just did it by searching yoga into the app and it came up. But it was so nice. We were doing yoga as we approached Santorini. I was actually wearing the new ELR style leggings and testing them out in the gym for the first time, which was super exciting. Then went to grab some breakfast. The bagel bar is my personal favourite. Smoked salmon, avocado, scrambled eggs, tomato. And I have to get in some ELR style promo these new shots that have just launched are so amazing for holiday just got ready going to santorini i've, I've just really liking this holiday hair at the moment this last time i went away and it's just a bun that i do but instead of doing the bun i just do a plait which i like then this bra is from primark eight pounds love a bikini from Primark and then I've teamed it with these trousers which are ELR style Olivia's these are actually the standard length um, and then the Chloe shirt I just love this set. I've just walked around and I feel really good in this. Then the details, I've got this necklace from ASOS, which I love. Then this is from By Ray. This is from Cartilage Cartel. And these glasses are Celine dupes for £10. I'll link everything down below. And my shoes are from Primark. I've lived in these. These were such a good Chanel dupe buy about two years ago. But I have found some similar, so I'll link everything down below. And then my new... Chloe bag that I'm obsessed with. I got this, it should have been a thousand pounds and Farfetch have got a, they had a 
20% discount on it and then I also got free shipping and a discount code on top of that. I wanted that bag for so long and I think I said this to Anthony, I was like, I haven't splurged or bought myself anything in close to two years now and I think well probably like a year and a half I'm being really honest the fact that it was on 20% and I'd wanted it prior to that but the price of it stopped me I thought you know what I'm gonna treat myself and I have and I love it and I think it was a really good decision because I feel like it's a good all-rounder and I'm definitely gonna be able to use that over and over again I just want to try and make sure I look after it which is the hard part when you go, go through airport security and all that anyway we're going because we want to go and explore Santorini and get our quad bike Everything up, threw away the receipt. I'm on the screw here. So, if you can want to cable cut, use the ticket and don't throw the receipt away. Oh my god, it's like, my hands are sweating. Oh my god, I can't even look. Extremely busy. <laughs> Oh, these queues are cute. This place. Wow, well, we actually make some here. Look at that. Mm. Exploring. It reminds me of that first ever vlog that I did that was just so basic, remember? It was like five years ago or something. <laughs> and we put like a, a bit of music over the top. Me and Anthony just walking around. There was a hopeful YouTuber in Greece, in Mykonos, and now we're here. We decided to go for this instead last second, I saw it. I was like, how much is that one? We want that one instead. So we've got Buggy. Our place is called Map for you. Set up, we're going. Look at us in our little buggy. <laughs> of a white wine because what goes nice with a few on a hot day than a nice white wine it looks delicious but will i like it crazy like i said already that we've looked at this as a wedding venue and we just put into google maps the volcano and it came up but like there is exactly where you get married and then the reception just thought that's so crazy what could have been instead we did fake <laughs> A bloody lovely way to spend a Monday. Give me them straight away. Oh. The queue to get back down the cable cart was for over an hour in blazing sunshine. It was very hot. But then we got back on the ship, sunbathed for a little while and got ready for dinner. We went to the test kitchen and you can see that video in my other videos. After our win at the casino that night, we took it slow the next morning, did a bit of sunbathing as we approached into Rhodes and then got off the ship to explore. There's a car rental place just straight outside, which if I'd have known that, probably would have suggested that so we can go explore a little bit more like yesterday just off the boat, so that's the boat, and then there is a little beach and you can swim in the sea. Got pictures, and we're going to be the pictures, it's going to be good. <laughs> but I've put zero there. Sticks were made, and he said what size do you want? I didn't realise he meant the size ahead. This is the size of the mango margarita. Alright. I'm going to put it in the family restaurant. 
Garlic bread, prawns, chip, chicken Slovakia, some cocktails, and ice cream. And it was 98 euros. That's pretty good. We're gonna head back to the boat now and get some more stuff. It just is how big this thing is. I'm um, so it's like a tiny ant. So now, cocktails at Richard's rooftop. <laughs> Hi. Please subscribe to his channel. Please do. For part two of this video. We've been planning Mykonos, haven't we? Yeah. We're tomorrow, gonna go, no, not tomorrow, Thursday. We're gonna go wild. It's a birthday. We're gonna come back to the ship. The idea is come back, get changed, go back out. We'll see. Die the next day. We'll see. Okay, love you, bye. Well, we are having this drunken chat. I've also been reading Twisted Love. Let me tell you both about Twisted Love. You've not even read a page of it yet. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually in chapter three, thanks. Alex Volva is a devil blessed with the face of an angel and a cursed past that he cannot escape. A crack. A melt. A fire that could end his world as he knew it. Chapter three. Happy I was hit you, haven't I'll link it down below. <laughs> Starting, actually starting. We are currently leaving Rhodes, heading towards Turkey, and we're about to go get ready because we're going to the Mexican restaurant tonight. If you're coming on board from the UK, then the plug situation is a nightmare. So some of my plugs were working, some weren't. My straighteners and curler weren't working unless I used an American adapter. So the staff on board were really helpful and gave me one. It's worth taking a picture or a screenshot of this because this is a specific plug that worked with my hair straighteners and curlers. <laughs> There's no extra fee to book the restaurants, everything's included and you can order as many things as you want so we like to try everything on the menu and sometimes order twice. I got two lots of guacamole because it's my favourite and the restaurants are really good, the food's good quality. I think for me it's very American so I wish sometimes it had a bit more of a Mediterranean feel to it but overall the quality and taste of the food is amazing on board. <laughs> Buy me one. Hello, we are in Bodrum, Turkey right now. It's 4 pm, so I've not really picked up the camera today. We've just been sunbathing and we just had a last minute change of plans. We were going to go to Scorpius today, as I said yesterday, but um, Anthony wasn't feeling very well and she just wasn't, you know, everything's just like not going to plan, so it's just easier to go over the flow. So we did. And we've actually had a really nice day at the beach, we've caught some sun put our feet in the sea, been with Tom and Luke, it's just been lovely. Um, and then now we're gonna go to the markets before we get back on board, and then tonight is Scarlet Night. So hot, it's like dry heat here. And she's like sweating. Okay. <laughs> like 34 right now, like mustache sweat. Where the boat is, over there, if you just walk round the bay, there's loads of restaurants and beach beds and I spent ages looking for where we could go in Turkey because I didn't realise on your doorstep you can literally just go on the beach and there'll be loads of restaurants in this area. So like I said, we were originally going to go to Scorpio's but quickly changed our mind this morning because we're having a very expensive day in Mykonos and I did really want to go to Scorpio's but it just like I said didn't work out but look at, look at how nice these areas are. So you don't actually need to have like a pool day or a shawl thing. 
you can just literally wander off the boat. The places I had planned for us to visit in Bodrum were actually a 45 minute drive away from the port and I'm really glad it didn't end up working out this way because we got to go to this amazing shop. Hello! Oh, quick itch. Look at them all. Oh, so good. Oh. They're so happy. I love it. Have a look and buy something. Have a sleepy. I love how fat they all are as well. So it's really fat. <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> Hello, are you having a good sleep? Yeah? Are you having a good sleep there? Loving that air conditioning. Oh, I just made a bread. I just did a quick outfit change because I found a little shop. How? called Diagi and I've been looking for a two piece like this to wear to Prince of Pote from Marine Mickey Mouse and I couldn't find one at all online. I had a disaster buying a set from Mango and I just walked in there. I can't say how much it was because it was in Lira and we can't really work it out but I'm well happy with this set. We had to buy something from that shop because obviously they let all the dogs in and I want to support anybody who's kind to animals. And I feel like Greece and Turkey really love animals. Like you see so many cats roaming around and dogs and I just love that. Anybody who's kind to animals are the best people. We got back on board and got ready for Scarlet Night and this dress I actually rented from Taint & Co. I'll link it down below. But what a great idea for Scarlet Night rather than buying a new item. I rented it and sent it back after I'd wore it. Started our night with some moe and then headed to Gumbo where we have to play drinking games and I was absolutely terrible at this game and I ended up getting really drunk really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, then from this point onwards the trip just got wild even though we're all late to mid 30s we were acting like it was an 1830s holiday and I think Virgin Voyages really brings this out of you. I haven't had a drink in such a long time, but we really drank from this point onwards. We won big at the casino. It is just such a fun experience on the ship. The day after that was pretty much a write off. We just ended up sunbathing all day and not doing anything really. Until we ended up in Mykonos the following day after that to Principote. And I've been to Mykonos five times. So I knew exactly what to expect. It was going to be a crazy one. Even as soon as we landed on the beds, there was Premiership footballers at the side of us. As you can probably guess, we didn't make it out that night as we'd planned. We ended up drinking far too much through the day, which you could probably tell from the videos of me dancing. However, the ship, they were ready to still party. So we just wanted to hide away and eat as much comfort food as possible. Pizza, ice cream, everything's included. And I just wanted to eat as much as I could to help my hangover, which included the Italian restaurant. Nothing cures a hangover like carbohydrates. And that's what we did. We ate so much food that day. And we called it an early night, packed our things up and had to disembark the next day into Athens. Instead of flying home that day, we stayed an extra night in Athens. We're on a guided tour in Athens. I never thought I'd see the day that I would get my husband to agree to a guided tour, but he's finally given in because I bloody love history. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is, looks, this is gonna be amazing. I'm so glad we stayed an extra day because this actually turned out to be one of my favorite days of the trip. 
after some crazy days partying, nothing more refreshing than a wholesome history day, learning lots from a tour guide, and just exploring this gorgeous city. I really, really enjoyed Athens and everything it had to offer. And this is why I love Virgin Voyages so much, being in a different place every single day, experiencing so many different things. The variety of partying one day and then being in this amazing place, seeing so much history the next day. It actually blows my mind to think that somebody thousands of years ago carved that horse and there it is today for us to see. It felt strange not going back to the ship and actually checking into a hotel. And this hotel was really nice. It's my last day. So we've now checked into the hotel. Had an amazing morning uh, exploring Athens. And now we're gonna get the last few hours of sun before we go into town for our last meal. Um, the hotel's really nice. It's got a gorgeous rooftop pool, but it's very busy. So we kind of in our own little spot. Really? We're now back at the hotel. I am so burnt. <laughs> so if you are gonna do the tour, make sure you take some cream with you because I put Factor 30 on before we left and it still managed to give me t-shirt town. I don't know how that's happened. Factor 30, I think it's because the lines are so close it makes you burn, I don't know how it works, but Yes, we're exhausted. The flight's at 4 a.m. So we're gonna go to bed right now. But thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you.